Okay, something else to be on the lookout for tonight. If you see like thousands of birds uh, uh, when you look up around seven o'clock tonight, don't panic. Yeah, no. There's a reason why. This is nature at work. This is just normal migration, right? But they, thousands of them will be traveling over Pittsburgh. They, they're estimating around seven o'clock tonight. And this is from birdcast.info, who tracks mm -hmm. some of this stuff. And so uh, John Shumway actually did he the did math. The math. For us. <laughs> Thank yes. goodness. Because they had it in kilometers, and we were both like, how do we transfer that? To, and uh, John Shumway, of course, was able to do it. He's, yeah, because. So he's he says 49,000 birds per square mile will be passing. Over Pittsburgh around tonight. seven o'clock tonight, now, and they did it last night too. Yeah, this is night. And this two is not this. video from last night. This is video from the Blackbirds in the East End that we've done stories on fall after fall. But it's yeah. fascinating. Uh, Rod and I were talking about this this morning. We we're like, so you know, if you happen to be out tonight, look up. And then we both said, actually, no, don't, don't do up. that. <laughs> and if you're gonna be outside, bring an umbrella, perhaps. It's A lot good of car luck. washing. You know, it's good luck. Tomorrow, you know, supposedly to get. Yeah. That happened to me. Did I tell you? No. I got pooped on by a bird. Yeah, a couple years ago, right it, on my head. And did it work out to be good luck? Like, did good things happen uh, afterwards? I don't remember that. I think that that's one of those things that, like, when it rains on your wedding day, they're like, oh, it's good luck just to make you feel better. Right. Like, you just got But it's to... really not good luck. Because you, just... you got to, like, get bird poop out of your hair or off your coat. And, yeah. yeah. It was funny. I laughed yeah. about it. Right. I also don't understand, <laughs> like, I've never heard in years past where there was like, this is like a parade time. Like, you know, go to Cannonsburg for the, the parade at 1030 a.m. Yeah. Like, do the birds now have, are they on social media? Like, how do we know all this? Well, I, I overheard John saying something about they may use some sort of weather radar. Oh, sort that's of, interesting. So I think that there's, I think there's just better radar of. Right. Because uh, yeah, Ron migration. has talked before about actual seeing, you know, either birds or seeing like what are the mayflies, it, right? What is it called? What do you call it, Ron? Grapple? What? No, not grapple. He's not even listening. What is it called when you see like the spots on the radar, Anonymous but it's not propagation? Ground clutter. Ground, Ground clutter. clutter. <laughs> grapple We're just is throwing like... out weather terms. <laughs> see what sticks. Thank goodness he's here to like keep us in line. <laughs> Anyways, <All right>. don't <laughs> look up, but look out your window. Right. Right. <laughs> We just wanted to let you know what was mm -hmm. happening. Okay, coming up here in PTL, not that we ever want to be in this situation, but it does happen sometimes. <gasps> People have very close <sighs> encounters with wildlife. So we're going to learn what one an animal expert says you should do if you're ever caught in that situation. We're talking bears, alligators, and more coming up on PTL.